guys, how's it going? So you've probably noticed as the seasons have changed and we've gone into fall, I've been really in the crafty mood. So I hope you guys are liking it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the crafts and you want them to continue. Today, I do have another craft for you. I've been noticing the mason jars with glitter have been really, really popular. So I'm gonna make one with you guys today. If you wanna see how they're made and how to make it both holidays, so you have their Thanksgiving and your fall as well as your Christmas and your winter, come on along, let's check it out. Here we go, guys. So what you're gonna need is, of course, your jar of whatever kind you're going to use. I got a mason jar. This one's just a plain one at Hobby Lobby for $1.99. And then you're going to want Mod Podge. And you can get this at like Target. You can get it at any of the craft stores. I can't remember how much it is because I've had it for a while, but I don't remember it being overly expensive. You're going to want some sort of painter's tape, which you can also get at like a hardware store or any place like that. And it's not very expensive. And of course, whatever color glitter you're gonna use. I use the gold just because it works a little bit better and easier with the, um, the fall side of things. And it's easier to mix with your fall colors, but you could totally do silver, you could do pinks, reds, whatever color you want. And then you're gonna want one of the sponge brushes. And I got a whole pack of these at Hobby Lobby for $1.33. I think there was, let's see, six in the pack. So that's what you're going to want and of course newspaper, lay down newspaper or some sort of paper to protect your surface that you're working on. Okay, so first things first, I went ahead and washed the jar. Oh, Hobby Lobby is really good about usually wrapping all the fragile stuff. So I'm using the wrap that they put over the jar as what I'm going to have as my protective layer. Now, this is just painter's tape, so if you don't like how it laid or you think you got it off, it's not even, you can just take it off and try again. <clears throat> try not to touch the actual jar of where you're going to be putting the glitter as little as possible, but just because you want to keep it as clean as possible before you go ahead and put everything on it. <clears throat> now, if that's uneven, I can't tell, so I'm happy with it. And then what I'm going to do, I forgot to say this, but you can put your, your Mod Podge in a little container if you want, or you can dip straight into it. I put mine in a little container. And I'm going to open the glitter just so it's ready to go as soon as I'm ready for it. And I did forget to say you're going to want a paper plate. Paper plate's not necessary, but it does help an awful lot. I'm going to brush down with my Mod Podge because I want it to come off of the tape. I don't want it to go under the tape. Oops. You want to try and get it as even as possible, and you can work in sections if it's easier. I'm going to go back around and just make sure it's as even as possible. I can see that I got some on the bottom there, so I'm going to try and go around and make that as even as possible also. As long as it's going to hold your glitter, I think you're pretty good. That's looking mighty fine. Those will go crooked, so there we go. Okay, and then what I do is I just take and sprinkle it on, and I lost my lid, so we're going to get a lot out. And I'm going to tap it off. Okay, so I tap it, and the excess is going to fall off, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on. And I don't care if I empty my entire bottle because I have the plate underneath. Whatever you're using to catch your glitter, you can always scoop it back up and put it back in. I'm going to move my glitter over to the side because you don't want it to dry all the way and then remove the painter's tape. Um, it's just like painting a room. So let's see. We can do it now. Because you want to keep that nice crisp edge. If you take it off once the Mod Podge has dried, it can pull off. See, isn't that going to look pretty? Okay, I'm going to tip it upside down and it is going to sit and it is going to dry. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to mess with it. Hey guys, so it's been 24 hours of letting this dry. I just wanted to pull it up and let you see it now that it's completely dry. You can do different... Um, glitters you can do the fine or you can do this little bit chunkier but the finer you have it's going to be a little bit smoother you can also spray it so that it doesn't um, get
get wet and peel away or have any damage done to it that way. But I'm just going to leave it just like this. All right, check back again and we will see how to incorporate it into more of a fall look since we're in fall. And let me know if you like this. Let me know if you've tried anything like this. I know that the glitter on the mason jars and stuff like that is really big right now. So let me know if you gave it a try. Let me know how easy you thought it was. All right. And if you got pictures, let me see them. Bye guys. See you guys next time.